Michael and I just got to the Palisades Mall in New York and look at this gorgeous 180SX rep here. Oh my goodness. And you never see 240s in our area. Oh my god. Full 180SX Type X camera. All right, what is up guys? It's pretty lit on my block right now. I've got cars everywhere doing whatever, people talking. But uh, it's Sunday after work. And um, there it is. That is the, uh, I forgot what box it is exactly, but it's by a trend, it's ported. You know, I'm not entirely happy with the, uh, with the fit and finish around the block, uh, around the uh, box, not the block, it's not an engine, but anyway. Uh, ooh. Maserati. Anyway. Ported box. This is the box that I was waiting for for a long time. I think it was, it was like two, two weeks and three days for me to get this. Uh, but anyway, when I got it, the, uh, the sub didn't fit perfectly in there, so I actually used my knife and shaved the inside of the, uh, of the box just so that I can get it to actually fit in there. But, uh, yeah, this is just one of my... One of the floorboards, not floorboards, one of the uh, carpets for the floor in the back. But yeah, let's, uh, let's close the hatch and see how it sounds. Alright guys, so f I guess I'll just do like a demo and for each song I'll just use a different genre. Like I'll do uh, like some trap and then dubstep and uh, then a rap song. And uh, I'll throw in a rock song too, why not? I actually don't really like the way that um rock sounds through the amp it sounds i don't know kind of kind of weird but yeah i still use an eye touch i'm so old school but anyway um what should i use bonfires is a pretty good song that has a lot of bass pure grinding trendsetter um yeah let's just use uh where'd it go yeah, bonfires. Alright, let's just skip in a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, it uh, it's pretty powerful. Sounds a lot better than <laughs> without than how it did without the amp and sub. And I haven't messed with any of the settings on the amp. Like this is literally the performance straight out of the box. And it's very punchy. Alright, and I guess now time for like more of a dubstep trap song. Okay, I'll play Trendsetter. I typically don't go past uh, 15 for now, just on the break-in period, but um, you know, sometimes I do. Depends on how much bass is in the song. This song's pretty chill. This is in the uh, the uh, Halcon uh, H2OI video for 2015. Let's get what the sub looks like as it's playing. This is outside of the car. I didn't uh, I didn't adjust the volume at all, but uh, it actually 
holds all the sound pretty well. It's a lot louder in the car than it is outside. the camera isn't even picking it up. So basically, I just want to give you guys a little demo of how it sounds. It sounds a lot better than what it did. You know, I'm not even sure if I, you know, I don't even think it's necessary to fill those, the uh, the holes that I found for the, uh, you know, by the, for the six by nines that I could have fit in the back. But um, I'm very happy with how it sounds now. I'm very thankful for uh, YouTuber Anti, Anti for, uh, you know, recommending me this setup. And he helped me along the process uh, a lot, you know, just figuring out what I needed and, you know, talking to me about what would be best for my car and what would sound the best because I honestly have I didn't have any idea how to sort anything out but now I have more knowledge about it thanks to him all right guys thanks for watching and uh, more videos soon to come also we got uh, April 2nd is coming up real soon and that's the first track day so I'm just getting the car ready for that so yeah thanks for watching and uh, take it easy